All right, so in this tutorial, I'll show you how to find and use a bunch of built-in text effect presets you might not know about. To find them, first, let's go up here to Graphics. Now, in the Essential Graphics panel, make sure you're in the Browse tab. Then select Adobe Stock and check the free checkbox. Okay, now simply search for the type of text or effect you want. For example, I'll type Lower Thirds. All right, as you can see, I have almost 30 pages of different lower thirds templates that I can drag right into my project. To preview one, just click on it once and move your cursor over it to see its animation. Once you find one you like, drag it onto your timeline. It may take a few moments to download the required graphics and fonts for the preset. And just like that, I have this fancy animation that I can add text to in my project. Now to change its text, just select your clip on the timeline and then change the text over in Essential Graphics. Depending on the template, you can change other parts of the graphic or text as well. Okay, and it's that simple to add a professional graphic to your project with your own text. There's all kinds of other cool effects in here too, like a few different glitch effects and even a pop effect. Some of these can be kind of demanding on your computer though, so you may need to select your clip and hit the enter key on your keyboard to render it before you can play it back smoothly. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.